So now that you understand how the, the theta is decaying against you and how it actually speeds up the closer you get to expiration, let me show you some percentages of why this can be so dangerous. Take a look here at the spiders, same situation. Look at the 197 call option here. And our time decay, our theta is 8.9, so it's almost nine cents a day. And look at your option price. Your price is 78 cents. Well, 8.9 against 78 cents is actually 11.4%. So for every $1,000 you have, you're losing $110 per day on this trade. That is a large percentage. I mean, you know, most people would be happy to make 11% in a year. And if you go buy this one strike price out of the money, weekly option with six days to expiration, you go buy that option right here, stock doesn't move and you hold it overnight, you just lost 11.4% over over one day here of simply holding this really really short term option that's why you got to be careful about it and let's compare that let's go to one strike price in the money that was one strike price out of the money let's go one in we'll go to the 196 option and look here we're losing a larger dollar amount it's penny for penny it's a it's a little bit more it's 10.1 cents but look at your option price the price is a dollar 43 and percentage wise that's only seven percent now, I don't want you to lose 7%. That's a problem. I'm not wanting you to hold an option like this overnight where you lose 7%, but just understand what's happening. If you go buy an in the money option versus the out of the money option with only six days to expiration, it's a difference in losing 11.4% overnight versus 7%. That is a large percentage. And when you start to stack it out and you do a lot of shares, that is a lot of money that you start to lose just by simply trading out of the money versus in the money on this option here. Now let's do one more example. Let's go one deeper in the money. We're now down to, it's actually a 195.50. So we're only 50 cents more in the money. Look at this. Our theta has slowed down just a little bit to 9.8, but based on our option premium, it's only 5.3% of that option that you're losing day by day. And so what you can see here is when you buy in the money, an intrinsic value, you've got some intrinsic value in there, even though your theta looks like it's a little bit higher, it's actually impacting the option less because the majority of that option premium is really a, a relative a dollar amount to the intrinsic value as opposed to the time value. Whereas if you come out of the money, you look here at the 197, the 198, you know, you've got a, del a theta here of 66, a theta of, of 0.089, against your 78 cent premium and your 34 cent premium, you're just losing a huge percentage of that option, which is why I always tell people never, 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 ever even think about pondering the possibility of buying an out of the money weekly option with just a week to expiration. You will lose your money. And if that's the way you wanna trade, I just suggest you either go to Vegas or give your money to charity. This is a guaranteed way to lose your money. Don't buy out of the money weekly options. It is a guaranteed way to lose your money. It just disappears really quick. Now let's go uh, to another example. What I've done on this particular screenshot is I've just gone out one month. We're now 34 days to expiration instead of six days. Go down to that same strike price here and notice what's happened. We've only got a four cent theta as opposed to, what did we have before? A, a nine cent theta, I think it was, or 10 cent. $3.61 cent um, option price, but this four cent theta represents a mere 1%. Do you see what's happening here? If you just buy four weeks to expiration instead of one week to expiration, it is the difference in time decay of 1% per day versus you know four, five, six, maybe 7% per day. If you're doing out of the money, it's upwards of 10, 11, 12% per day that your option is losing against you, even if the stock does nothing. That's why options oftentimes get a bad rap. The reason is because people see that time decay and they think, oh, this is a decaying investment. It's, it's not worth it, you know, it's just a gamble. Well, it's not a gamble. You just gotta really understand what you're doing with the option. And hopefully these illustrations will help you see how 
the, uh, the deeper you are in the money, the more stable that option is, especially coming into that last week of, of uh, expiration. If you're farther out, it's even better there. Um, and if, then the other thing I want you to see here, the difference in six days to expiration and 34 days, the difference in you know, seven or eight percent time decay versus one percent, that's huge. Now let's go one more here, uh, one more example I should say. So 34 days to expiration, but now I've gone a couple strike prices out of the money. Notice we're only losing three cents a day on this dollar twenty premium, but compared to this one that was in the money where we were losing uh, four cents a day, here we're, we're actually losing two and a half percent of our premium. So again, in the money, slower time decay relative to the overall investment. It's more stable in terms of an option price.